Hey, I just wanted to make a short video to um, describe an awesome game that I just got in the mail today. Uh, I've been looking really looking forward to this. Um, it's an indie game. Um, I opened it up just because um, I wanted to have it easily accessible to pull uh, to pull it out and just to look at it. But uh, it's from a company called Signature Edition, um, which is a company from the United Kingdom. Um, I heard about this company and you know, did some research on one of the games that was coming out in January, um, obviously this month, and, um, you know, I was just hoping and, hoping this would come before February, and, and I came today on Saturday, but... Um, so Signature Edition sent this game to me. Uh, it's it's a little bit pricey, but you know it's worth it because I I, th I did the research, and um, you know, I thought it was gonna be pretty cool. But um, this uh, game from Signature Edition is called Slain Back from Hell, and um, you know I was on the fence about just getting it for Steam and just downloading it. Uh, I think it got down during the the um, Steam sales during Thanksgiving and, and Christmas as low as like five or six dollars, um, but by the time I paid um, like shipping for this this beast, um, I think I, I paid like forty five dollars for it, which which is pretty pricey. But you know, how often are you going to be able to get something as cool as this? Uh, it it kind of is in the realm of like a Castlevania horror style game, side scrolling, um, Metroid slash Castlevania type game, and uh, it comes with a whole bunch of extra stuff. I think that's that's what the um, the selling point of Signature Edition is is to include a whole bunch of additional items. Um, so like. Um, Kind of hard to focus. Hopefully it'll focus here. Uh, so it comes with, you know, the actual game, um, a decent manual. Um, I don't know if that's an art book. Um, it should say it here. Uh, heavy Metal Soundtrack. Exclusive developer art book. Yeah, so I remember, you know, listening to some, or watching some gameplay and the music is like, is straight up metal, so um, this should be kind of. I don't know if I'll ever listen to the CD, but um, music is, is probably going to be very uh, suiting, uh, suitable for what the how the game the style of the game is. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, just uh, I'm I'm just loving these indie type games that are being released for PS4. Um, PS4 is just like my my go-to system. It, it it just really is. I've always liked Microsoft systems in the past, but you know Sony's just knocking it out of the park with allowing for these these games to be printed um, on smaller runs. Uh, yeah, but um, I'm not gonna open it up to see what's inside. Um, but yeah, I think it's cool how like some games are coming in these like cardboard cases like the uh shante game i got what came in a cardboard case like this too um but uh if you're interested in buying this you know look up signature edition um and you will find they have i think like four games for sale and it would probably cost you right around somewhere for like around 42 to 45 dollars to get this shipped to you if you um, don't think that's too expensive. Uh, the other thing I want to show real quick, and I don't want to make this video very long, is um, I, I, I bought a print from AliExpress. It's uh, a picture of a, a Dark Souls uh, setting, and I finally got it framed. I have it right here too, so I'll show that real quick. Is um, Let me get the light out of the way. So I got it framed... Uh, I went to um, I went to Ollie's. I don't know if everybody knows what that place is, but it's like a really uh, like lower end type store that has a whole bunch of uh, random things that typically doesn't get sold in regular stores like Walmart, Target, 
you know, other name brand places. And so this was like a seven dollar frame, and uh, you know, it just it just makes the uh, the the uh, picture look so much more cooler in a frame. And um, I'm just really blown away by how this looks in a frame. It just makes me, you know, think about the game every time I I see it, and uh, it's just really cool that you know you can get something as cool as this on a place like AliExpress, and uh, I think I only paid like maybe five or six dollars for the print, and about seven dollars for the frame, and um, yeah, I don't have this set up to hang in my informal uh game room because this is more of like my son's area to play but once he gets older i probably would hang this up um even though i have some things hanging up over here besides his uh sesame street stuff but anyway it's my cool new little project the dark souls painting so let me know what you think. Hopefully um, other people will have an interest in this game. And um, I look forward to playing it. Uh, let me know what you think. Later. Bye.